All right. Hey, thanks for checking out the live stream. So in this live stream, I am going to build my ultimate audio PC. Uh, it's going to be amazing. I don't know how far I'll get, whether I'll get stuck. Uh, I built one PC before, and that's our home server that does our home automation. It's a media server, does loads of other cool stuff. Uh, but I've never had a dedicated audio production and video editing PC. So I'm really excited to do this for you now live. Um, if I get it wrong or do anything silly, feel free to chat away in the live comments and <laughs> give some better advice on the way I could do things differently. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to get started. So you might have watched the series where I went through and I told you about the CPU I wanted from AMD Ryzen 7. So I can do really fast encoding. That's very important to me. Look to all the components that make up the final build. And now in this live stream, I'm going to attempt to put it all together. So it's time to grab a hammer. Why would I need a hammer when I'm building a PC? Surely that, that's the last thing I want. Well, it's time to, uh, to go to the other side. <laughs> I used to be a big renderer and Apple product user, uh, but now it's no longer. Let's, let's do it on this camera. Let's just show you. That's my, my iPhone, or it was my iPhone. And I'm just going to stick this down on the workbench and I'm going to say goodbye to this iPhone. Are you ready? This, this, is, this is now going. This is, this is toast. Gone. Toast. Toast. Done. Finished. iPhone broken. Smashed to pieces. Uh, so yeah, I'm leaving Apple behind. Uh, there's lots of Apple dust all over my desk now. <laughs> which is nice. Um, yeah, probably not the best thing to do before I'm about to use the bench for uh, creating a PC. But anyway, that aside, let's get that little apple out of the way and uh, let's get this there. Now, don't get me wrong. I really like Apple. I, I still use their products. Obviously, I have a, a couple of Macs and I still will be using those Macs to do various probably day to day tasks. But for my heavy lifting, it's going to be PC. So uh, let's get into it and let's get started. First of all, I'm just going to move things out the way that I don't need. That's the power supply. So I've got the SSD and the RAM and the CPU, which I'm just going to put over here for the moment. We're going to start off uh, with the motherboard. And what I'm going to do before I um, get into doing any uh, testing inside this box, which is from Fractal Design, it's the Mesh by C. I actually really like it. I've had a chance to look inside it. I really, really think it's great. I'm going to start work with the ASUS Prime X470 Pro. Uh, it's a pretty flashy motherboard, um, but it does the job. So it's wrapped in static wrap, which is good. I'm just going to pull this out, put it on the workbench, and uh, I'm going to do the basic build outside the, uh, the PC box just to make sure everything's working and fires up like it should, because the last thing I want to do is build it all put it all together and then find something doesn't work and I need to send it back. So let's build. That's a, that's a tip actually I picked up watching YouTube. I've been watching lots of YouTube channels to get the, the lowdown on doing this. And one tip is build outside the box first in case something doesn't work. Okay, so that is my motherboard right there. Hopefully you can see that on the screen. And I'm now going to uh, put in my chip, uh, my CPU. Uh, so let's have a look at this. There is a certain way to do this. So I'll probably turn this around like that. And then I'm going to get this uh, Ryzen 7 in the picture so that we can, uh, we can add that in. This is probably the most stressful part because it's the most expensive unit, the CPU. There it is. The Ryzen 7 CPU that I'm going to be putting in. It's the 2700X. Really, really cool stuff. And uh, you've got to kind of line it up. Thankfully, the, uh, the stock cooler that AMD uh, send out with the uh, 2700X actually has thermal paste applied. So I don't need to worry about applying any thermal paste. That job is already done for me because the thermal paste is on the bottom. See, of the, the stock cooler that comes with the 2700X from AMD. Right, now, uh, that's nice. There's a little sticker there that I can put on the front of my build when it's finished. Say it's a Ryzen 7 inside. So the way I've got to do this, from what I understand, is I've got to line up. Let's see if this looks right. It does look right. Yeah, I have got to line it up 
so that the little mark there in that bottom corner marks up with the little mark here in this corner. Get the CPU out and then simply place it on top like this, being very careful to put it in without getting any of the pins in an incorrect position. Just like that, that's it, done, looking good. Okay, little wiggle, yeah, feeling good. So we'll now place that down, pop that in. Simple, done, stressful bit over, take a look at that. CPU is now on the motherboard. Right, next, uh, I need to get this uh, fan out and uh, yeah, Thermal paste, really good thing that AMD did there with the stock cooler. They put thermal paste on the bottom there, so there's no need for me to do little peas or rice grains on top of the, the CPU. It's, uh, it's all done for me, which is great. So now I want to get this on in a certain way. Okay, CPU fan. So that would go on like this, like that. So that's the CPU fan. Those are the CPU fan pins right there. Push this down. Nearly there. Okay, let's go with that. That's fine. Okay. Uh, time to get RAM in. Let's do the RAM. Uh, so we got 32 gig, two times 16 GB sticks. There they are. Vengeance LPX. And I know exactly where these are going to go. Flip this round and they're going to go over this side. So let's use the two gray slots here. Pop these sticks in, get it working. Take off the sticky plastic things on them. Make sure these clips are open like that. That can actually go into this slot here. There we go. Clip that up. Turn the same with this RAM as well. Put this in here and here. Clipped up. There we go. Both of the RAM sticks in. That's good. Okay. Next, we are going to get some power to it so we can test it out and also get a hard drive in as well. So let's use this. This came with the motherboard. Uh, so this will be pretty good uh, for connecting my SSD that I've got here. Let's open this up and have a look. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's find the place to plug in a hard drive. It's going to be over here. There we go. Let's put it into SATA 1 there. So that's going to go in like that. This is going to go in like this. Going to need to power that hard drive as well. Uh, so we're going to get the power out now and we're going to plug that in, make sure that works. So here is the, uh, the power, the EVGA Supernova 750G3. Let's open that up and get that working. Get it out of its lovely casing. Okay, place this here. So. We're going to need the plug to go into one end, like that, and then we've got lots and lots of different cables in here, CPU power, every kind of power you can imagine. 
Okay, so this is going to come out of this side. So popping that in. Hmm. That's going to go to here, I believe. Making sure we've got that on the correct way around, which it looks like it is. There we go. And then plugging this in to the power unit, which is going to work like this. And this. Okay, motherboard power engaged. <laughs> and now we hope that we've done the basic setup okay, so I can now power this unit on, and this should power everything up, providing everything is away from the motherboard and clear and ready. So the cooler is there, the fan's there, nothing's in the way of that, the RAM is there, disc is there. Ah yes, we need to plug in the HDMI cable to the side. So we'll plug in this HDMI cable so that I can then plug it into a display and check that everything is booting up. I'll put a USB stick in as well so I can boot up to an operating system and test this all out. But the basic configuration of my PC seems to be there with a little bit of sweat <laughs> wiped off my brow after trying to get that fan on the CPU. As you can probably tell, uh, I wasn't 100% confident doing that. But I think I managed to get there. So let's switch the power unit on like that. Okay, power unit on. Okay, lights coming on on the motherboard. That is really, really good. That's a very good sign. And now somehow we need to boot this up. So in absence of having it inside the case, we need to find the little area where you can power this on. But at the moment, we've just got some pretty lights on here, which is very nice. I like the pretty lights that are glowing on the ASUS motherboard. But as for powering this thing on, that is a very good question that I don't think I know the answer to. So in that case, powering this on and testing this out may well be another video. <laughs> but at least I did the basic build, uh, and that's the most important thing.